gives you a whole bunch of methods to look to people's futures. There's tarot cards, uh, numerology, astrology, even tea leaves. Well, John Paul Sutton uses melted wax to give people a prediction of uh, what is in store. He joins us this morning, along with Dr. Ark, who's generously uh, donated... What have you got me in for now, Oh, Karen? yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're you're going to have your future read by okay. the wax. Good morning, John. Good morning. Now, what we have here on this um, piece of artwork here um, is various colours of wax. Now, what do they denote and how does this work, John? Well, the wax is what you call encaustic, which is uh, um, beeswax with colours in it. But what um, I use the wax for is that each colour will signify um, a different aspect of a person with oh. their with 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 energy. Um, so to read, and you're going to do this for Dr. Ark, yep. to read his painting, which will eventually end up something like this, um, he'll choose the colours. How many colours? Six colours. Six colours. Uh, you melt it with this iron. iron I put the uh, uh, wax on the iron, mm -hmm. and then I run the iron down the card and create the painting. And how does that predict his future when it's finished? The, all the movements in the wax um, will show different movements and different perspective of movement and it will show um, where he is in his life. Do you have to psychically get in tune with Michael? Um, basically what happens is once that iron goes in my hand um, as a channel, that I'm a channel to move in the iron creates the, the painting. Mm -hmm. What about if I chose different colours? If I did it again with a whole lot of different colours? Um, it will still create a story because actually sometimes even though you choose certain colours, the colours will mix and create the colours you need anyway. So oh. even though you may choose certain colours, you might necessarily get that colour come out in painting. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And so the painting here is um, at the bottom to the top. So that's the beginning of life and as it goes through. Yep, that's right. Okay. Uh, choose your colours, Michael. Don't choose my colours. A lot of deliberation going on okay. here. Just kick six colours up and put them okay. across there. Now, I chose that one, Prussian blue, Yep. because my ancestors came from Prussia. Oh. I like that one. Vermilion, that's a pretty good name. Yep. It's almost orange, just like my shirt. Um, I like magenta. Brings me back to my childhood doing crayons. Purple, very royal, mm -hmm. along with gold. And uh, that's pretty cool, lemon yellow. Oh. All done. Um, can you get uh, an initial reading of those yeah, colours? Yeah, it starts to tell me the story already. Yeah, what's um, that? Just be gentle with me here, <laughs> okay, John. <laughs> okay, the blue um, is about throat sharks, so it's about communication. So um, he would work in issues of communication, strength of communication. Mm -hmm. The magenta is to um, bring that strength of self within grounding itself into the journey, mm -hmm. uh, as, as with the vermilion. The violet is to the crown chakra, so that's to do with the strength of um, understanding the spiritual journey within your life. Mm -hmm. The gold um, shows the, the angelic energy around you that they, you work with and protecting you. Looking I like this you. already. I, this is coming good I'm for me say, here, John. I'm, I'm yeah. this the is yellow good. is to the solar plexus which is our emotional centre. Mm -hmm. Is so it a good emotional centre? Well, it depends on his emotions, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed All to be, be telling revealed. us here. OK, um, you're going to put the hot iron on there and we'll be back to you in a little while. So okay. I'm going to let you uh, start this uh, okay. process. Marianne, how are you with the ironing? Uh, yeah. uh, this is a piece of artwork to me, I reckon. <laughs> so what is that? Um, uh, OK, then, John, we'll get back to you a little later. So you just put okay. that on there. Yeah, start away. Just, oh, OK. Put that on there. A little bit of everything, huh? Gotcha. And then you put it on the painting. Okay, we've got some emails coming up as um, John decides to read uh, Michael's future with wax and an iron. There you go, a new use for the iron. I knew I'd find something good. <laughs> uh, that's next. Stay with us. <laughs> After the break, we're going to see what the wax painting has to say about Dr. Ark's future. Earlier in the show, John Paul Sutton was explaining wax reading. Dr. Michael Archinal is with us, and he's uh, put his future in your hands, John. Literally. Yep. Now, <laughs> now, we just explain there's a hot iron, several different um, colours of wax, yep. all which denote um, another quality. Yep. And you choose six colours, and you iron it on. You did that literally after we finished in about 30 seconds. Yeah, the painting's very quick. Mm -hmm. And once, once you put the wax on the iron, run the iron down the card... As soon as the heat goes off the, on the wax, the wax is set and it's, it's there straight away. Okay, so what are we reading in Michael's future there? Okay, this is the start of his life. This mm -hmm. is the end of his life. I see him coming through about here. Now, the early colours down here are a bit hazy and a bit wishy-washy. So it shows for me that um, early part of his life, there's struggles at times, trying to find a clarity of understanding where he needed to be in his life. Okay, how do you feel about that, Michael? Uh, look, I... 
That, that sort of thing sh I could I do agree with, absolutely. But I always go, well, yeah, I could. But if you said something else, I could fit that one in too. I'm not mm. saying it's not hunky dory, but certainly healthily you know, sceptical. But that's yeah, probably why. I'm a, a lot, a lot of go. young, a lot of young people do struggle with trying to find their yep. life. But you know, yep. yes, I'm I'm hearing you. Okay, these little white spots here, um, and where there's no no wax on the painting shows doors are changed and opportunities coming into life of change. These little dark lines just here show me about the age of 22, 23 um, that he would have had some issues to work through and some struggles and, and that weighed him down in that part of his life. At 22? Uh, was that when you were trying to decide to be a vet or a golfer? I've got a pro golfer. <laughs> That's exactly the time. Was it? And there were some other issues too on the side as well, you know, growing up, those mm -hmm. sorts of things. Wow. Yeah, yep, okay. exactly at that time. Mm-hmm. As went through these changes, this movement here in the painting, and the movement shows me that um, there's a lot of growth in that period of time after that. So as he went through the change, he started to be more sure of himself, started to find a clarity of understanding where his journey was, and started to look stronger to where he is. Here, where he is at the moment, there's a few little lines a bit heavier, so I would say in the last 12-18 um, months he's been going through some change. Being... Um, Questioning himself where he needs to be, looking at where his ultimate future is going. Oh, go on, do tell me more. <laughs> you said you're going to be gentle with me. <laughs> what did you say about my golf handicap? That's what I want to know. I mean, we all go through those changes, but do you think you've focused a little bit more in the last 18 months on the rest of your life? Uh, certainly, there's been big professional change in the last 12, 18 months. We've Ooh, gone enough from. Said. Yeah, that's right. Enough yep. said. Okay, moving on. Okay, as he's getting through the change, the colours are getting stronger. So the colours show me that he's getting strong within himself. Starting to find a clarity of understanding where he needs to be. Also at the same time there's a lot of movement. So the movement's showing me that he's starting to um, surrender the emotional struggles that he took on as a child, the younger part of his life, and starting to free and stronger becoming the, the adult he needs to be. As, so I've finally grown up. Oh, That's you, what you tell you, me, you, isn't you, it? You're, you're, you're getting there. Between us. You're, you're oh, getting right, there. All right, good. Taking time, you're getting there. <laughs> That's very nice of you to say. <laughs> um, and they just keep on movement. Keep, keep him shedding away um, the old and bringing in the strength of who he needs to be. Mm -hmm. The colours that he's chosen, the violet is still the crown chakra, so it's bringing that strength of understanding of who he is, hmm. the compassion of himself, and as he finds compassion for himself, he also has compassion for God within himself. Oh. Well, I know, we definitely know after the six years that I've known you, there's definitely a lot of compassion there. John, thank you very much. Are you impressed? It's very interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. Yeah. yeah. I think the 22 marks got you. <laughs> okay, more info, just go to our website, uh, kerryann.com.au. John Paul something. thank you very thank you. much. We've got more coming up. Lindy Milano, lamb roast shortly after the break, the latest in the music. It gives you a whole bunch of methods to look to people's futures. There's tarot cards, uh, numerology, astrology, even tea leaves. Well, John